And Zemanski will kick off. Easterly win here today. Zemanski approaching the ball. Here's his kick. Out of the end zone. Out to the 20 it will come. About seven yards back as he takes the snap. Temple's going to get the handoff. They're coming to this side of the field. Out to the 20. Out to the 25-yard line. He was the halfback to the left. At the 25 it goes. And it will be second down and five for the Tigers. Empty in the backfield. Three wides to the top. That's the left. Two to the bottom here to the right. Here's a throw, and that's a catch. It's a first down, and it's to the tight end. That will be Eric Wu. Actually, he will be a wide, a wide receiver. That will be his 17th reception of the season. That's a first down at the 35. There's Jason Jack in the defensive front right now for the Aggies, and we got three down linemen. And here they are, empty again in the backfield. First down and 10. He's pumping. Now he's going to go deep. He's got a man wide open, and it's a catch. The 25-20. He is in the end zone, and it is a touchdown. But uh, we're going to hear right now. It looks Here like it they're getting ready to give us the call, see if they've reversed this Here call. Here it comes. After review, the ruling on the field is reversed. The ball was fumbled through the end zone. Touchback. First oh, down. yeah. Hey, now. <laughs> Heads up play by Jordan Peterson. He got beat on the play, but he was smart enough to knock the ball loose before the receiver crossed the goal line, and the Aggies are gonna get the ball on the 20 on a touchback, negate the Missouri touchdown. First down and 10, then the Aggies, the ball went out of the back of the end zone on the fumble. And now the AM offense out, and the Mizzou defense on the field. First down and 10 at the 20, the Aggies 80 yards away, and it just went to Lane. Lane hits the middle, he stopped immediately. First man to get to him is Dedrick Harrington, the number two tackler on this team. Hit him right at the line of scrimmage, the 20, second down 10 coming up. Lane into the game today, 74 carries, 349 yards at 58-2 per game. Shotgun Lane to the left of McGee, two wides each side. There is no tight end in this formation. So he's second down and 10, and they just gave it to, no, it's McGee on the keeper. Coming around, got a corner block, fighting for the 25, stopped at the 24. Little late hit right there as they roll him over. That's what that was Schrader, who was blocking his man, and then that guy got up and gave him a little push. So at the 24-yard line, it's third down and six, the Aggies. Here's Irvin Taylor going to the right side. We're going to bunch it in close on the open side, which is to the right. Now motion. That will be Pierre Brown. There's the snap. We were in the shotgun. We picked up a little blitz there. Here's a throw. It's tapped up in the air and then knocked away from Irvin Taylor. Nice tap there by Darnell Terrell, the number five tackler on this team. Flag so there's down. a flag down. Holding. Number 58 on the defense. Oh. Ten yard okay. penalty. He's on the penalty. First down. First down and 10, AM at their own 34 yard line. Time 12.30 to go. First period, no score. AM's first possession. Here's first down and 10 in the shotgun. And it's a play fake. No, it goes to Goodson, and they're all over that. They're going to drop him back at the 32 yard line. Brown, Goodson, and Irvin Taylor split out wide right. We've got two here on the bottom. One of those is Martellus Bennett. The other is Chad Schrader. Empty in the backfield. McGee, time to throw. He will. That's Goodson. He's at the 35. He spins and falls down at the 39 yard line. Here the Aggies now. They've got a third down conversion on a penalty a moment ago. This is third, and they need right at the 44-yard line. So it's about five, but the clock stopped at 11.09. Actually, 11.08. Here's the throw, and that's a catch. That's an Aggie first down. That'll be out to the 45-yard line. Diving Mar that Martellus. No, that's Latidric Riley. Oh, 17, not 13. So Riley that time stretches out, makes the catch. Davis, 14th catch of the year. Howard Morrill's in the lineup now. Pierre Brown stays out there. Urban Taylor way out to the right side. And now we show motion, bringing a man back in close. And the handoff will uh, go to Javorski. And, uh, boy, Javorski is spun down like a rag doll at the line of scrimmage. The 45, second down, same 10 coming up. She like one of the guys on this team from Texas. They got 25 Texans on their roster. 14 of them are in the two deep. Second down, 10. Empty in the backfield, three wides to the right. And now motion from one of the guys here on the left, and that was Goodson. And Goodson just got it, sprinting out to the right side, looking for a corner block. Got one. He's into the sideline across the 50 to the 47-yard line. Clock working, 935, offset in the backfield. Two tights and a flanker left. Here we go. It goes to Javorski Lane. Fights, got the first down. Falls across the 45 to the 44 and a half with Marcus Bacon, their number one tackler, a young man from Cypress Springs. 
hanging on and bringing him down, but it's another Aggie first down. That'll be our third of the day. First down 10, the Aggies 44 and a half. That is the Mizzou side of the 50. Motion from uh, Franks, and we hand off, and it will go to Lane, and Lane gets maybe a yard to the 44-yard line. That'll be all. Second down, nine coming up, and Xavier Jackson made the stop that time for the Tigers. Running back to the right, two wides here on the left, a split in on the right in the shotgun. Takes the snap, hands off, and it is a double reverse. Now we're throwing, and here is a pass down to Franks. He caught it at the five, and that is a touchdown. Schrader threw it, and it's a catch at the four and a half yard line. Missouri has never been behind in a game through the first six. And the other stat is they've only given up one rushing touchdown all year, so something has to give down here on first and goal at the four. And they will hand off, and Lane tries the left side from the four. It's going to be second and goal. They're going to spot him at the four. There was no gain on that one. Second down goal at about the four and a half. Favors the hash mark to the right side. 7.40 to go. First period, no score. The Aggies are knocking on the door. Running backs either side of McGee. We just moved. Kirk Elder jumped. Now it's going to be second and goal back from the nine-yard line. Here's second down. Goal at the nine and a half. And they just snapped it. And McGee, has he still got the ball? Going to the corner. He's being pushed into the uh, sideline, and there is a flag down where he went into that sideline. It is against A&M. They just asked the Missouri Tigers if they wanted it or not. Holding. Holding. 14 on the offense, 10 yard penalty, repeat second down. Okay, second down goal all the way back to the 17 yard line. Schrader to the right, Martellus Bennett over to the right side. Three wides here on this side, including Irvin Taylor. Way out here is Michael Goodson, empty in the backfield. A second down call for the Aggies at the Mizzou 17. There's the snap, there's the throw. Taylor will get to the nine yard line. Martellus Bennett tied into the left side, running backs either side of McGee. That's Lane on one side and Goodson on the other. As we move. Uh, we move, but I think they were in the neutral zone. Let's see what they call. McGee trying to help Tom Walker. Now the two officials have gathered up. Yeah, it's against them. I, they, they were in the neutral zone. I mean, you you got to be able to protect yourself. That's the rule. Prior to the snap, offside, third nine defense. Five yard penalty, still third down. Aggies trying to score a touchdown here. Running backs either side of McGee. Two tight ends, the flanker, Schrader goes in motion right to left. The snap, here's McGee, time, throws, caught by Goodson. Broke a tackle, he got to the five yard line and they're going to drop him back at the seven yard line. They had good coverage on that. Goodson out here on the left side in the flats. Behind the line of scrimmage when he caught the ball, they closed on him with Terrell and with Christopher. So apparently a field goal effort by Texas A&M. All right, it's gonna be an angle to his right, which he likes as a left-footed kicker. Uh, Ty Brannion, like you said, is the holder. 23-yard field goal for Lane Newman. He's looking up at the uprights. All right, here's the snap, the hold, the kick, and it is through. Just inside the left upright, but it's good for three points. So the Aggies get on the board first. And like you said, Dave, the first time all year in any game that Missouri has trailed. 5.30 to play in the first quarter. First score of the game, and the Aggies are up three to nothing. Matt Zamansky has it teed up, and he is ready to kick off for the Aggies. Their middle return guy is Earl Goldsmith. Let's hope he never sees it. And uh, not going to happen. He's going to see it at the goal line. Here comes his return out to the 10. He's out to the 25, 26, 27, 28 yard line. First down, empty in the backfield. They move Temple now in the direction of Daniels who's standing at the 20 waiting on the snap. And they just gave it to Daniels and they get to the outside. They turn the corner at the 30. He's fighting for the first down. He's on the sideline and the Aggies just knocked him into the Mizzou bench out of bounds at the Mizzou 42 yard line. First down play here for Mizzou at their 42. Quick throw out here in the flats. And it's going to be a, I think it was going to be a double pass. And he just threw it forward across the 45. That's the other tight end. That was caught that time by Saunders. And then he turned and he threw it to Kaufman. And Kaufman went out of bounds here at the uh, AM. Where's the spot? They're talking here. I don't see any flags, but there is a discussion going on. One, two, three, four officials standing here on this side of the field between the 50 and the Aggie 45. 
Well, the Aggies this time give them a four-man front. In the shotgun, Daniels, three wides to the left, one here on the right, running back to his right on a first down. New running back, that's Goldsmith. He turns the corner, and the Aggies swarm him, but not before he gets about five across the 45 to the Aggie 43. Goldsmith, 14 carries, 65 yards coming into play today. Change made off the sideline for A&M. Will come Chris Smith at the 43. It's second down and six. Empty in the backfield. Daniels waits to throw under some pressure. He goes down. And that ball free. He fumbled as he's hit. I don't know if he was throwing. They're saying he was. Uh, he's going to have a fumble, but they recovered it at midfield. Big play there. It's third down and about 13 there at midfield. They got to get the Aggie 37. Empty in the backfield. Three wides left. Two here on the right. Now they're changing the play. They're down to nine seconds on the 25-second clock. They'll get it snapped. There it is. Here's the third down play. Aggies closing again on him. Spins away from one man. Now he's running for his life. He throws, and it's a catch, and it is caught on a deflection at the 30, and now out of bounds at the 25-yard line. That deflected off the hands of the intended receiver. Jared Perry then caught it on the deflection, and that will go for a first down and 25 yards down to the Aggie 24-yard line. First down and 10 then at the Aggie 24. 3.41 to go. Play action by Daniels. He throws, and that is a catch. That's the big tight end. He's hit once and hit a second time. Second time he goes down at the 5. That's Kaufman. Kaufman's caught four passes this year for touchdowns. He had 23 catches, 209 yards into the game today. 3.27 to go. First period, Aggies lead 3-0. They'll go on the ground to Temple, and he's going to score almost untouched. they just taken the lead 6-3. That's a pretty impressive drive. They just took it right down the field, and they have scored. Everything is in order this time around, and it makes it 6-3. we got 3.21 remaining here in the first, and now the extra point coming up for Mizzou. Time, 3.21. Okay, we'll get the snap here. They turn around to make sure he is ready to go. The holder asks for it. It goes down. It goes up. And it is good. So it's a 7-0 Mizzou lead at the 321 mark here in the first. 321 remaining in the first. Mizzou kicks off when we come back. This is Aggie football from Learfield Sports. All right, here we go. The Aggies are ready for the Missouri kickoff. 7-3 is the score. 321 to go in the first. This first period is going by in a hurry. They are approaching the ball. They will be kicking in a little bit of a wind. And we will have a chance to return this about two yards deep. He slowed up a little bit. Now comes out to the 5, the 10. Cuts it back. Gets out to the 15-yard line. Alexander and Javorski Lane are the running backs. And they've got Alexander flexed out to the right side. And a slanted eye. Tight ends on the left side, rather right side of that formation. And they go to Jaborski Lane. They're reading that. He broke off a man. Now he broke another tackle. He's at the 20, and he's got a first down as he knocked one man down at the 20 and bruised his way out to the 28-yard line. First down, the Aggies. Got a tight end here on this side. That is Martellus here. The first down play from the Aggie 28. And we start the option, and McGee will keep it, and he'll get two yards to the 30. They were all over that. Clock is rolling down to the two-minute mark here in the first period. Mizzou leads 7-3. to three. High formation. Now the Aggies. McGee almost tripped and fell. He wants to throw, and he will, and he's got a man, and that's Frank. Let's see if he can get it. He did it to play. He's at the 10 to 5. He knocked that across the 5 at the 3-yard line. 67 yards, fans. Well, the Aggies again have it first and goal. Earlier, we had it first and goal at the four and had to settle for a field goal. Need a TD here. Power backfield for AM. There goes Javorski. Javorski to the one. And they got a scrum going there, and he got to the two. The offset eye again for AM. Two tight ends. Flanker wide to the left side. And give it again to Javorski. Hits the middle, goes to the one, and inside the one at the goal line is Javorski Lane. 50 seconds to go now here in the first period. Third down goal. Timeout Fran, Fran off wants the, the timeout. Timeout off the sideline for AM. They'll stop the clock. 28 seconds to go here in the first, and the Ags will use a timeout. Mizzou leads 7 to 3. Here's AM. Two tights, the power uh, formation in that backfield. And they just gave it to Lane. Lane dives across for a touchdown. The train is in the station. Well, the Aggies will take a lead. 
Once again, right here toward the end of the first quarter. What a nice drive, and of course the big play, the 68 yarder to Gary Franks on the post route. And now the extra point. So for the second time this season, Missouri is behind. And now Lane Newman with a big extra point. We interviewed his twin brother on the Fan Zone broadcast today. Brandon waits, it's down, it's up, and it is good. All right. Aggies lead 10 to 7 with 24 seconds left to play here in the uh, first period. The end zone, it's not, it's going to be short. From the 8, back to the 10, back to the 20. They're in a little seam there, and the Aggies hit him down around the knees at the 30-yard line on that return for the Mizzou kickoff team. That goes 23 yards out to the 30-yard line, so they're 70 yards away. And back on offense, empty in the backfield will be the Tigers. First down. Hand off Temple, he cuts a hole there to the left side. They're trying to spring him out, and he's all the way out to the 34, make it you know, 39 yard line. Wow, what a little play right there. He kept moving that thing no. to his left, and now the first period has come to an end. They're second down and short. They got a free play here as Mizzou. They're at their 39. Daniels, time to throw, he will. That's a catch, Kaufman, that'll be a first down. He's across the 45, dives to the 47 yard line. Got about eight on that. Chase Daniels, their quarterback, will keep a running back to his right. Play action on that guy, he's rolling right. He wants to throw, he will. It's a catch and a spin. They got away from the first man and they knock him out of bounds at the Aggie 38 yard line. Daniels now five out of five, throwing the ball. First down and 10 at the Aggie 38. 14 40, second period, the Aggies lead. They give it to Temple, he's coming this way. Aggies were close on him. He got back to the line of scrimmage as he's sprinting to the left. They trailed it from the backside. Nisi Toupe caught him and brought him down. Going to hit the 14 minute mark as they wait to snap the ball. Empty in the backfield. Three wides right, two on the left. Daniels has got it. They're going to throw. He throws high up. Caught at the 20, at the 10, at the 5. That's a touchdown and that is William Franklin. Now the extra point at the 13.53 mark. Put them up 14 to 10. So they have their second lead. The okay, ball is down, it's up. And it's good. He's perfect on his PATs. 14 to 10 is the score. 13-53, second quarter. Missouri leads it over Texas AM. They're checking things over. Mizzou leads 14 to 10. 13-53 to go until halftime. High kick. Frank's backing up. He'll take it at the goal line. To the five, to the 10, and he's hit and knocked down at the 20 yard line. Got a wide out way out there at the top, I believe that's Schrader. It is. And one here on the bottom side. Joey Thomas is in the lineup right now as the tight end. He's on the left. Gave it to Goodson, spreading out at the 20. They're closing on him. He's going to try to split the difference between two guys, bringing him down at the 25, five yard gain by Michael Goodson. Schrader taken out of the lineup. He comes to this sideline. There goes Urban Taylor out to the left side. Got Morrow here at the bottom side of that formation. And a running back to the right of Stephen McGee on second down and five. McGee has his snap, and he gave it to Goodson, and they're all over that. They got a yard to the 26. Joey Thomas is flexed out here to the right side, lined up off the line of scrimmage. Running back to the right. Here's McGee rolling in this direction. Pumps once. Now he's going to try to run for it. Not going to make it. They get him and knock him down at the 27-yard line. Brantley will be kicking for the 22nd time this season. His average is 46.4. Coming up the middle, they punts a good sailor. See if they're going to have, they ask for a fair catch, and they will take it at the 31-yard line. So a fair catch called for and taken. And that will be a 43-yard kick by Justin Brantley. Running back to the right of Daniels. Play action to that man. They throw. And that is a, is that a catch? Is that wow. Kaufman? If he hangs onto that ball, he did. What a great catch out to their 49 yard line. Jackson goes wide to the right side. They got empty in the backfield. They've got two wides here on this side of the formation. First down and 10 at their 49. Daniel is gonna run with it. 
And he is to the 45, and boy, he had a pretty good hit into the Aggie bench at the 46-yard line. That is his first rush of the day. He was sacked earlier in the game. Second down, high snap, been put on the ground, and they're fighting for it. And the Ags and Mizzou, whose ball is it? Texas A&M's ball, Kellen Hurd. He never got control of this ball, Dave. 10.55, we look around the 25 second clock down to five. Under center is McGee. Offset in the backfield, start the option. And he will run with it. And he is caught from the backside across the 50. 10.15 to go until halftime. Mizzou leads 14 to 10. The Aggies got a fumble recovery at midfield. Shotgun McGee running backs either side of him. There's the snap. And they will hand off, and m tries the middle, and they go across the 45 to the 44-yard line. Here's the third down play for Texas A&M. Put a man in motion. That's Taylor going right to left. That's the short side of the formation. And McGee just kept it. And McGee wanted to pitch, and he has hit and stood up as he's getting ready to pitch the ball and knocked down at the 42-yard line. And now the punt team gets reset there on the line of scrimmage. You got three up backs. One of those is Warren. It's a good snap. Kicks away. Boy, that was close. Saunders is coming up, calling for a fair catch. He'll take it at the 11 yard line, maybe the 12. Saunders, fair catch at the 12. 36 yard kick. So that's exactly what Brantley wanted to do on that one. And it worked. And it's going to be first down and 10. Missouri at their 12 with 8.22 to go. And Missouri leading it 14 to 10 over your Aggies here at Kyle Field. First down and 10, Mizzou's got the ball now at their own 12. 8.22 to go until halftime. Missouri leading A&M 14 to 10. Empty in the backfield for their quarterback, Chase Daniels. They've been that way a lot today. Daniels throwing the ball now is eight out of eight and 199 yards. He'll take the snap at the five. He rolls right. He is looking to throw. He lofts one into their sideline. Good coverage over there. Open sides to the left. Daniels starts to run, and he is going to get a first down. He's going to be awfully close. He's out across the 20 to about the 22-yard line. Quarterback keeper at that time, Devin Gregg, came up to meet him. First down for the Tigers. We just rolled under eight minutes here to go in the second quarter. Missouri leads 14 to 10. Empty again in the backfield. Now, as I say that, he moves Temple to his right. He'll go set. High snap. Temple got it. And the Aggies trying to rip that ball free. We'll catch him. We're gonna, I think he's down. Let's see what they call. No, they're ruining it. It's a fumble. Aggies have it. Aggies just got another fumble at the 23-yard line. After reviewing the play, the ruling on the field stands. It is a yes. fumble. First down. Timeout. Missouri. All right, here's first down and 10, A&M. They've got the ball at the Missouri 23. Missouri has lost three of four fumbles today, and this is one of those right now. McGee running backs either side in the shotgun. Tight end right, Martellus spin it. And here we go, trying to get a sweep, and we fell down on the backfield. Lost a yard there. That was Goodson starting right, and boy, dancing around, and nothing worked on that. There's Howard Morrow in the lineup. It goes Latidrick Riley and Urban Taylor out to the left side. Running backs again. Two halfbacks on McGee. Take the snap at the 30. Line of scrimmage the 25. Second down and 11. The Ags need the 14 of Missouri. The snap. And we go to Goodson again. And he got right back to the line of scrimmage. And here we go on third down and 11. We're going to hit the six minute mark. It started at the 23 and a half and it's gone back to the 25. Empty in the backfield. Three wides to the right, two on the left. See what they're doing defensively. They're going to bring the house. And he's going to throw. He does. It's at the 20. It's at the 15. And he dives for a first down at the 12. Chad Schrader at the 12. A third down and now converted to a first down. And here we go at the 12-yard line. And Javorski got it. Javorski carries to the 10, to the 9-yard line. Lane. Picks up from about the 12 and a half down to the Mizzou nine. Just rolled under five. There goes Chad Schrader way out to the left side. Schrader's thrown himself a pass today that was completed. And we just hand it off to Lane. Lane bulldozing his way, still on his feet down to the six. 11 for 25 carrying the ball today. The power formation, two tights and offset eye. At the six, play action, McGee throws, caught, Alexander, touchdown! Great 
Great play action fake. Chris Alexander sneaks out into the right flat, wide open.